Here's how you print your Google Calendar into Microsoft OneNote. If you're like me, you love Google Calendar, you put everything on there, you color coordinate it, but maybe you also love to use Microsoft OneNote to organize your weeks. Here's how you can print the Google Calendar into OneNote. First, open up Google Calendar and on your settings here, there's a print option. I put your date range, so this is just looking at one single week. I like the normal font, I want it in landscape and I want it full color. What I don't wanna see is my weekend, so, so it's just the work week. So it looks like this and then what you want to do is come print and you'll see it looks like it wants to go to a printer but you want to make sure it's actually selecting OneNote desktop. Again make sure it's in full color because black and white is so boring and then you want to click print. Click on your OneNote and you'll see there's a pop-up waiting for you. It asks you where you want to dump this. I always look for the current page that I'm on. It'll say in parentheses and then click OK. And there it is. Yours prints crooked. Here's how you're gonna fix it. To Google Calendar and reprint. Again, make all the settings how you wanted them. Click on more settings, but then press this pop out. Go to print using system dialog. You'll see the orientation is actually set as portrait. I honestly don't know why it does this, but make sure you reset it to landscape. Again, it's printing to OneNote and try that again. Open OneNote, there's that same pop up asking where you wanna print it. Click OK. And there it is. This is not a calendar that you're able to edit. It basically is just like a photo of your Google Calendar, but here's why it's useful. Maybe every single Monday you wanna print your calendar and see what meetings you have, so then you can make to-do lists and write questions for your upcoming meetings. And let's say you've been doing this for months and you want to remember when you had a certain meeting. Images and printouts are searchable in OneNote. So let's say I come up here and I wanna remember when I had a spray tan. When I type in spray tan, I get one result and I click on it, it brings me here and you can see it's highlighting the spray tan. That's a bad example, but the thing I love about OneNote is you can just store so much information and then search it all at a later point. Let me know what other questions you have.